Today, I'm excited to announce a new update to Web Studio, the SEO launch. Web Studio users will now have access to all the tools needed to stand out and rank at the top of search engines. Let's dive into the builder and I'll show you how. Into the builder, you'll find a new site settings tab under the Web Studio menu. And these are your new global settings that are applied to all pages on your website. Let's start off by setting these up. The site name, I'm just going to call this Web Studio, a visual site builder. For our fav icon, we can simply upload our own logo. And for custom code, you can add any script or header code that you want to be applied site wide. Once you're done, you can go ahead and close the site settings. Next up, let's configure our page SEO settings. Simply head over to your pages tab and select the three dots that appear beside the page that you want to edit. From here, you'll have all of the new SEO settings for individual pages. First thing that we're prompted to do is set a title. We're going to stick with Web Studio and Open Source Visual Builder. And below that, we're going to add a description, which I'll simply paste in. Now, the title and description appear in three key places. The first is on the browser tab. You have multiple tabs open. It's much easier to see which tab you want to navigate to when it's clearly labeled. The second is with search engines. This is what will be displayed in search results when your website ranks. And finally, this is also displayed on socials. When you link a website to different platforms, it will display a preview image that will have the website's title, description, and extra meta information. Now you'll notice in the page settings, we generate a preview of how this looks for search, We've also added the option to exclude this page from search results, should it be a page that you don't want to rank. Below that, we have our social section. Under this section, we can set a featured image that will be displayed when your site is shared, and you can customize that image by choosing any file from your library. And just like for search results, we also have a preview for how this will look on social networks. And finally, in your page settings, we now also have the ability to set up custom meta tags. Now, these are important for two reasons. First is if you want to define specific meta for search engines. And the second is if you want to define custom properties or settings for social networks. Now, let's publish our site with our updated settings and I'll show you on the published site the changes that have been applied. With the site published, looking first at our tab, we can see that we have our updated fav icon as well as the page title displayed in that tab. Now let's take a peek at how things look when we share this page on different social networks. I'm gonna grab my URL. I'm gonna jump over to the sharing debugger on Facebook. Let's simply chuck in our URL. And once it's loaded, you can see here our nice preview that we configured that looks exactly the same as it did in our builder preview as it does on Facebook. You can also see other meta tags that have been applied. Some that we have done automatically for you based on your title, description, or featured image. And then others that you can configure by yourself via custom metadata. Going ahead and checking it on Twitter, simply go to their card validator and chuck in the website. This won't generate a preview of the card, but it'll tell us what info it found that was specific for Twitter. So you can see here, it found a Twitter summary card, which was applied via the metadata. Great, now let's jump onto X and see how things actually are displayed when they're posted. So we'll simply go here, post the URL, and you'll see it generates that preview with the featured image on the left and the description Right, now Twitter gives you some great options to customize these cards. Let's have a quick look at that. What we can do is jumping into the builder, we can add some custom Twitter properties. Let's change the format of our card from that default layout to a nice full width layout. Under property, I'm going to add twitter.card and then under content, I'm simply going to add summary underscore large underscore image. And this tells Twitter, hey, display this as a large image instead of their default preview layout. From here, you can once again, go ahead and publish. And once you've published, make sure to first jump into the card validator and preview the card. This will clear any caching that the platform has done on previous cards. You can see here, it does tell us that our Twitter card has been changed to a summary large image card. If I go back to Twitter and I refresh my page, you'll see that that shared link has now been updated to its alternative card layout. Now we've also made a couple of changes platform-wide that will help automate the process for ranking on search. The first is when you publish a custom domain, your staging or Web Studio domain then gets de-indexed so that there's no confusion on which domain should be served up on search engines. The second is that we've automatically added robots and sitemap files to your website so that search engines can easily understand which pages exist on your site, 
how they're structured and which pages should be hidden from results. And that covers our SEO update. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications to stay up to date on all the latest Web Studio. And in the meantime, I'll catch you in the next one.